All right, so today I'm going to take this little LED bulb and I'm going to drill it out. I cut the leads off it already. I'm going to drill it out and I'm going to put a, a beacon light in there that's going to rotate, simulate ro rotating instead of you know just a flashing on and off but I didn't have a globe for it so I'm going to use this LED bulb for that and I'm going to drill it and I'm going to cut it down a little bit and we'll see how it does all right okay so I took this block of wood and I drilled a hole in it and I put the the LED in the hole to hold it that's in there good and tight and then when I drill into that the black of wood will hold it I had this other one here it was a piece of a of a sprue in one of my kits I was going to use that but I don't like the way it drilled out. I drilled it up into there and it just really distorted the, the glass. So I don't think it's going to work and it's awful small. I might come back with something like that if this doesn't work out the way I want. Alright, so I'm going to drill that out. Okay. Well, I tried drilling into this end and it just once it hit the uh, the uh, metal contacts that were embedded in the LED it kind of broke apart there which was fine anyway because I didn't want to have you know a quarter inch long or whatever it was uh, bulb on top of my HO scale fire truck so I uh, split that piece of wood that I had this drilled in and luckily it stayed in there and then I took my Dremel tool and I cut it there cut the bulb down and then I took my my drill with a 1 16th bit and I drilled into there so I have a little hole in there and the wall might be just about ready. I have to take it out of this and see if it's flat and everything. If I got to file it down, I will. But it's almost ready for to see how it's going to work with the bulb. All right, I'll get back with you. There's the light. I'm pretty satisfied with it. I wish it was a tad smaller but once it once the light is in and it's animated it's going in a different truck too it's not going in this truck but i think it'll work all right I'll press on with it okay I bought two of these Aaron Hine Electronics Stratolite circuit kits. Uh, I've had other ones before and they come in amber. They come with amber bulbs. But I had Aaron, Aaron maybe two special ones with red bulbs because I wanted to put them in a fire truck. So, I took my fire truck, this one I have it in, I have it connected in, but I took a LED and I cut it down and I drilled it out and I glued uh, the wall in. I actually, um, yeah, one day use. 
I use sealer caulking for it, clear caulking. But anyway, so I put the caulking in, sealed it, and then, uh, I, like I said, I cut the cut the LED bulb down. It was probably longer than a quarter inch. Anyway, um, these are pretty cool little kits if you want to have a uh, beacon light on your um, train. I, I have uh, a couple of my locomotives. I put the beacon lights and they simulate the ro rotating instead of flashing. Uh, most fire trucks that you see uh, models of the lights always seem to just be flashing on and off and not rotating so I'm going to show you what I did and that's by the way that's one of my fire stations in the background right here this isn't uh, where it's going to be located I just got it out to just for the aesthetics of showing my fire truck next to the fire station. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, so I just hooked the leads up, just taped them up to a 9 volt battery. This is just temporary. Anyway, and here is with the light flashing. So it simulates a rotating beacon, which I prefer more than just a flashing on and off. You know. I have another one, and I have um, another fire truck kit that I'm going to put together and install the other one in. And I'm going to go with a smaller bulb. I'm going to go with a smaller bulb on the next one because I think that bulb here is just a little bit too big. And eventually I may change that out to a smaller bulb. I just was in a hurry to get a light flashing on my truck and I didn't have anything smaller than that. But that's what it is. So if you're looking for rotating beacon lights this might be the way you want to go all right later